As an animal science teacher, I, on a daily basis, get to bring my passions together, which is I love animals, I love horses, and I love teaching. You have different animals that you're giving injections on. Like yesterday we talked about using a fine 20 gauge needle versus a 16 gauge needle. Miss Kendall, she knows a lot about what she does with the animals. She's always so excited about working with the animals with the students and she's always on point with everything that she teaches us with the animals and she tries to get us to do so much with them as much as we could hands on with them. Because the students are really given a reason to learn, they they are just so much more invested in what they're learning. When I'm teaching about nutrition, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, we talk about the diet of the animals and how each animal in a different stage of life or a different species because of their different digestive systems require different types of food and they just for, for lack of a better term, they just eat it up. The companionship you have with the animals, like it's just not the horses, the horses, the pigs we had, the turkeys, the goats, everything, you get a connection and it's like you can't leave. It's like you're home away from home, literally. Teaching is a job that is, involves teaching a student and, and making them feel comfortable in your environment. And a book doesn't necessarily bridge that gap between a student who, who wants to learn and a student that um, is emotionally withdrawn. And what I see with our animals is the, it gives us a common ground uh, to come together and have, and have learning that happens at an emotional level. So, our students actually become friends with their, their animals. They care. We we'll, like clean their stalls, give them hay, give them water. But a fun perk that we get to do is groom them and give them a lot of love, lots and lots of love. I like to work here, I take care of the animals. The special ed kids and the regular ed kids develop friendships on that even play, playing field and they'll go into the hallways and they see each other and they come and hang out on Saturdays and it's very it's a very social thing that we don't always see with our special ed population. So I want recently received uh, or won a hundred thousand dollar grant through Farmers Insurance Dream Big Challenge. Uh, I was one of 15 finalists from across the country that was nominated and once we were nominated we had to get votes from our community, the state. We actually had voters in Australia and Germany even so but they had to vote daily and we got the most votes showing the most support for our idea of the three finalists from our area and we won. We hope to build a riding center for our school. We will offer community programs after school and on weekends and we hope to draw people from all over the city. Everything is great about Miss Kendall. Um, probably the, the greatest thing about her is that she listens. She always takes the time and consideration out of her to listen to what you have to say. I get to teach the kids that you, you have to love your job. I love my job and they see how much every day I it's just easy to be so excited about about what I do and why I do it and I think that's really important for students how many times you get to say hey I get to go to school and take care of a pregnant mare like <laughs> I know he pushes me out of the way like you're you, you're blocking my shot <laughs>